It's a bit late in the year to be doing experiment videos, but this is one that I've actually wanted to know for a while, and that is, does strength matter? And it's not just for the offensive line or the defensive line. I want to know for running backs, wide receivers, fullbacks, quarterbacks, all of the shebang. So what we're going to be doing today, I think it's the most accurate way to do it, is to put everyone at 70 strength all the way across the board. See how they play, and then move on to 99 strength across the board and see if there's a difference. Because obviously, for certain positions, especially like quarterback, running back, wide receiver, that's a huge drastic change. So if you don't see a huge drastic change in playing, you only assume that it means nothing for them. Offensive line and defensive line, I do at the mid they're going to be taking a little bit of a hit in overall. So I do worry that maybe it's the overall loss rather than the actual strength loss. But at the same time, if the 99 strength guy is giving up 9 sacks and the 70 strength guy is giving up 11, I don't know why 9 11. I'm not even trying to make a joke. Uh, I think that it's pretty safe to say that strength doesn't really matter, right? 29 strength difference, aka 70 to 99, should be massive. There's no such thing as, eh, it's just coincidence. It don't exist. That is di that is like me trying to go against any NFL player, right? Like, I should not have a chance strength-wise. Let's be real. So straight up, that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, if you guys like these types of experiments, it's a little late in Madden to be uh, doing them. Let me know in the comment section below what you'd like to see next, perhaps. And uh, we'll have a Bison's video a little bit later today. That's really it. We're going to look at the stats, both sides, and make a determination and get you out the door, really. I mean, this is a bing-bang one. Also, I ended up going with the Ravens because when I looked at the highest strengths, the bottom of the screen, they had the highest of that average. Uh, I don't know if they're actually the strongest, but that's the way I looked at it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I mean, it's going to be pretty stupid to do it here. But I went by strength, and then I looked at the bottom, so you see the Saints have 89. I believe the Ravens and the Lions were at 90, but the Ravens had a higher, uh, highest strength. Uh, as you see, 96 here, I think 97 for Voorhees who also has a sick last name, obviously. Uh, but let's take a look at, so how did the team even play in general? They went 16-1 and one with 70 strength across the board. Obviously, I don't have a real, like, horse in the race, I guess. I guess, you know what? I kind of do, you know? I normally say that, but I actually kind of do because I should want this 70 strength team to do better than the high strength team just to call out hypocrisy and just, like, bad coding. But personally, I don't. <laughs> it is what it is. You guys seen the win-loss. Uh, 33-3 for a touchdown to pick ratio, 3,500 yards. Uh, Derrick Henry, 4.6 yards per carry on 20 carries, 15.99 for yards. Receiving pretty low, kind of expect that. What about the sacks? 1-1-3-4-7. One, one, now, we don't know for a fact because this is a kind of run-heavy team, obviously. So this might just be how it is in general for this uh, offensive line. But we'll obviously see when we get to 99 strength. Then we look at the defense where you have Rolando, uh, Rolando McClain. That is a name drop. Roquan Smith. Where did Rolando McClain? I mean, I guess kind of similar type players. And I don't know. They kind of remind me of each other. 114 tackles. Uh, 11 sacks for the highest two uh, kind of numbers there. Uh, Rolando. Roquan Smith with a three interception. Same with Nate Wiggins. Justin Tucker, 17 for 17. Put him with 99 strength as well. Uh, Jordan Stout, 49.5 uh, yards per punt. Kind of weird with I guess strength still just is a different rating in general. But I say, what would it really do for a kicker? Because it doesn't obviously affect their kick power. MVP goes to Lamar Jackson, though. Offensive player of the year goes to Lamar Jackson. And best QB goes to Lamar Jackson. Best kicker goes to Justin Tucker. Also to uh, note, the team was basically first in the entire league for everything. They were second in offensive yards. Everything else was first. First in defensive yards, first in points scored, for first in points allowed. Absolutely unbelievable. Let's see if this Ravens team can beat the Chiefs, though. They're goaded in sim, and they do. They're in the Super Bowl against, of all teams, the Vikings. I mean, if they win this game, it's, I mean, it's literally unbeatable. Unless statistically they're better, they just didn't get as many wins because, you know, the ball bounces a different way. As in the Super Bowl, the winner is, I mean, the, the Ravens win. I mean, you could, oh, call it coincidence, but I, I don't think you can. I simply don't see how you can. Now, some of you guys have been asking for a Ravens rebuild. We still can, you know, even though we just saw a Super Bowl win here. and Maybe the next sim will also be a Super Bowl win. We could always go for a dynasty, but uh, let me know if you guys would be interested in that. And 250 likes, and we'll do a Ravens rebuild whenever that happens, whenever 250 likes is hit. 
Uh, regardless, let's compare the numbers and the win totals we just seen with 99 strength. Now, the thing you're going to notice here is that a lot of the overalls are a bit higher, especially on the offensive line. They're not insanely higher, but they are definitely higher. Looking at the strength totals, everyone's got 99 across the board. I think you should be able to tell that just by uh, the fact that I clicked X twice. Um, but yeah, I mean, some some overalls, maybe I should have actually showed you guys the uh, the proper overalls. But there was definitely a significant drop off. I think 5 to 10 overalls at, you know average at least on the offensive line a little bit on the defensive line even the running back henry went up like three i believe overalls wide receiver i don't think it actually affected them at all but this team is technically overall wise definitely better at least by two to three overalls on average so if this team doesn't perform similarly or way worse in sim i mean there's really not much to it it's it's there's coincidences, you know, 16-1 uh, with the team that we just had. Yeah, that can happen. But as far as this team being outperformed statistically, that, that shouldn't happen. It just, especially on the offensive line, especially on the defensive line, even the running backs, it, it just shouldn't. All right, it's going to be really hard to replicate. 16-1 and one is really good. But 13-4, okay, that so far is a coincidence. That is the definition of a coincidence. 16-1 versus 13-4, fair enough. Both teams, number one seed in the AFC. Both played really well. The ball bounces differently. It, it has nothing to do with the strength or anything like that. But now we get into the juice. I wrote down all of the stats. All of the stats that we had. So I'll know pretty quickly if we have been lied to by EA. So far, once again, this is, I would consider, a coincidence. Five touchdown difference. Interceptions, a one touchdown difference. The yards, 200 difference. Completion percentage, 3% different. Pass rating about eight different. That is fair enough. That's, in my opinion, a coincidence. Rushing. Derrick Henry was way better. That is kind of the opposite of a coincidence. That is basically proof that he was better. One more touchdown, about 100 more yards. But the big thing is a way better yards per carry of 0.7 higher. Almost a whole yards per carry more. Lamar Jackson, almost the exact same as the, uh, the other Lamar Jackson with 70 strength. So coincidence there running back could be a coincidence but yards per carry that is significant that is a 0.7 higher does that mean strength does affect power back specifically maybe i should have done this for a, a uh, an elusive guy maybe not though because you're not really gonna get that high of a strength on an elusive guy anyways unless you get a guy that's like kind of a best of both worlds hybrid looking at receiving Coincidence, right? The other side, 811 yards, 751 yards, 734 yards, 700 yards. Almost the same as what you're getting here. Actually, a little bit lower on average, technically, uh, especially with this fourth guy being so low. Touchdowns or yards, you know, about the same pretty much. Touchdowns, you know, a little bit less, kind of about the same. But the big one, the big one, the blocking and the defensive line. The other side, one sack, one sack, three sacks, four sacks, seven sacks. I don't know how you beat that. I really don't. And they do. They do beat them. But that seems like a coincidence in a bad way. Because this team should be way better, right? The other team should have given up more sacks or this team should have given up less. One versus one. Two versus one. I suppose there was a zero in here with uh, Ben Cleveland, which we didn't see on the other side. A four and then a seven. It is almost dead even, right? It is a almost dead even. I will say I should have looked at first downs gained because this team did play a good almost 100 snaps less. I wonder if the other team was a little more efficient, which maybe it changes things, perhaps. I don't know. Sack to our tackle totals, maybe the average is higher, but as far as the highest sacker goes, this is 13 lower than the highest sacker. As far as tackles for a loss goes, definitely a bit higher. Definitely a bit higher with the tackles for a loss. So I'm definitely thinking for running back for sure, it seems, and defensive line, the higher the strength, the better the numbers in Sim specifically. As far as sack totals go, though, this is a complete coincidence. The highest on the other one was 11. Not really seeing much of a difference here. Interceptions, we've seen two guys with three. That's kind of what you're seeing here as well. Kicking, missed five kicks. I don't know if that means anything. It's just completely random. Stout, a little bit worse. So it definitely doesn't affect kicker punter. We can tell you that for sure. And it seemingly doesn't affect quarterbacking, especially a quarterback running. But the way it looks is running back definitely is affected. And defensive line, I can't say for sure, though, that the offensive line is uh, 
impacted or affected in any way. As far as MVP goes, Lamar Jackson's number four. The rest of this is all formality. It's all just, you know, taking a look at if the Ravens can win another Super Bowl in this realm. But realistically, it is just coincidence at this point. This point, for sure, it's like win-loss. Anything can happen. It really can. The sim is just... You can sim 10 times in a row, and you're not going to get a 50-50. You're going to get so many different options. Uh, as far as the uh, Ravens winning, they do beat the Chiefs. Now heading on against the Texans. They win that as well. A little bit of a tougher matchup, a rematch against the Niners as well. Maybe this team is just goaded. Back-to-back Super Bowls, kind of. At least one-year Sims, potentially, as they beat the Niners. So both teams were able to win as the, you know, as the Ravens, obviously, without any changes to their uh, playbooks. But the lower strength team technically did have a better run. I also didn't look at the yards per, you know, the, the offensive yards, the defensive yards, points scored, points against. Let's take a look at that real quick. We have a ninth in offensive yards, which is, what, eight or seven less. Fourth in defensive yards, which is three less. Points scored the exact same at first. Defensive points allowed at eighth. Once again, can be coincidence, but... The only thing I can say for sure is that it seems to help running backs and it seems to help defensive linemen. As far as offensive linemen goes, unless we were just insanely lucky in that other one, I'm going to continue to do what i kind of been doing lately. I used to draft basically solely on high strength, but now it's really about if I think they're going to be a good player and if I think they're going to be hidden. I think this has proven that, at least in sim for rebuilds, strength don't matter. If, if you guys enjoy this video, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, I do appreciate your support on the channel. Maybe follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care, second channel, Picare Plays for non content. Was supposed to have a TCM video out later or yesterday, but it was kind of a long one and it took a long time to render longer than I thought. So I might have actually posted that earlier today. Maybe it's tomorrow. I don't know. Um, but if you have a suggestion for kind of another experiment similar to this or something completely different, a rebuild team you want to see, let me know in the comment section below. That is about it. Like I said, Bison's franchise a little bit later today, and there's a light goal on there where we could do a Bison's franchise tomorrow and 100% a rebuild. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys come back for next video, but until my next video, 